a delegation from Northern Cape Province in South Africa, took part in a week-long Nama language orientation session organized by the Directorate of Education in the Karas region. We learned them the basics such as constructing a word, uh, constructing simple sentences. And it's the first time I experienced such a situation that uh, someone makes such a meaningful contribution um, at, at a workshop or at a level that have never been involved on a, on a daily basis. Erika Davids, a resident of Rimfasmak in the Northern Cape Province, says that attending the workshop will contribute significantly to enhance their teaching process in South Africa. We are not speaking the language as we should in our country, but this workshop has enabled us to understand the importance of using our mother tongue as a medium of instruction. Language impacts the daily lives of any society, according to another delegate. Our elders are dying and most young people are not able to speak the language. So it is very important that this language be taught at school so that the future generation can know where they come from. Nicholas Tipot, a senior producer for Damaranama Radio Service, agrees. We are very excited to hear that the language that has its origin in South Africa is finally returning to its birthplace. I believe that the South African government could soon recognize Kweko Kobab as an official language in that country. The training of the 18 teachers and community members will make it possible for the introduction of Kweko Kobab as a medium of instruction and as a language subject in South Africa. Natangwe Jimmy, NBC News, Ketmanzuap.